What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a seamless texture, otherwise known as a tileable texture, inside of Affinity Photo. Of course, you will need some photo editing experience to make this look any sort of good. But this will be more of a crash course. The actual making it good part comes down to you as the artist. So anyway, I've got Affinity Photo over here and I've simply opened up an image that I'd like to go ahead and make tileable as it's not necessarily the most tileable as is already. How exactly do we go ahead and do this? Well, first of all, select the crop tool on the left hand side, then where it says mode unconstrained, change it to custom ratio and then enter one by one up here as such. This way, we have a nice square that we simply need to center somewhere in this image. Of course, if you have something like me, try and capture as much of the image as possible as we don't want to waste too much. We'll have to edit out all of these items that don't necessarily match. After finding a good position, simply hit enter on your keyboard to apply changes. Now for the actual tileable part, all we need to do is click filters at the very top, then distort, and then click affine. Inside of here, all we need to do is enter 50% for the offset and 50% for the other offset over here. When we're done, we'll come back to the Affine menu and select negative 50, negative 50, and of course, Apply. Now you'll notice your image is slightly broken. All you need to do is locate the X and Y seam, which you can see very clearly over here. All we need to do, of course, if you have a pattern like me, is remove the items that look kind of broken and simply replace them with another item from somewhere else on the page. If you're working with an image, you may want to use the healing brush, the smudging brush, or the clone stamp tool over here to go ahead and make things quite a bit simpler. So if I clone stamp this over here to say this down here, this will look good across the tileable section, but of course it looks very odd. You'll have to make sure that an entire section is in fact tileable, avoiding as many seams as possible. So I'll go ahead and readjust things now. To begin, I'll go ahead and remove some items. These will be all of the items that are broken on the page. Now that I've gone ahead and removed the obvious line connecting them, of course there's items missing here, I'll go ahead and rasterize these two together. So I'll merge visible and delete these two extra layers here. Inside of this visible layer, I'll go ahead and duplicate some items and move them around so that blending is less obvious. And there we have it, we now have a seam that is less noticeable. I'll go ahead and merge visible once again, then delete absolutely everything other than our one merged layer over here. Then select the layer, head across to filters, distort once again, and then select a fine. Inside of here, set the offset X to negative 50, offset Y to negative 50, and then click apply. Now you may notice another line that may have appeared or may not have appeared, but rest assured that these outside corners over here are now fully tileable. If you have any issues in the center that you need to deal with, now's the best time to go ahead and do so. Usually though in images, you won't have this sort of issue. And I think I may have missed one of the 50% earlier, though it shouldn't be too much of an issue now. These two items over here are connected. It's only really everything else here that I need to fix. So I'll go ahead and do that now as well. And there we have it. We now have a fully tileable texture. I'll go ahead and save this and then simply import it to another project. So I'll make a new screen over here and drag the asset in. You'll see that things snap together seamlessly. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Let's test in the vertical direction as well. Bam, they snap together seamlessly as well. These seams in the center seem to disappear when you zoom in far enough. It's just a rendering issue. Here we go. It's practically that simple. You can use these in any other program that you need tileable textures in, and they just simply work. It's that simple. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.